me tell y'all a little something that happened today as I go out here and enjoy this uh, winter slash spring weather on my balcony. Let me tell y'all some stuff. It's a little praise report. So, I was shopping at Walmart um, like an hour or so ago, just picking up little things. And it was this girl in there who helped me and my son. I bought a brand new computer. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, and um, she was looking so hard for for that computer. I mean, she was in the back looking hard. I mean, we were there for like over an hour, and I was like, "It's okay, it's okay." You know, just it's okay. So I was just like, "I'm about to get up, you know, give up and leave." And then she was just like, no, I found it. And I was just like, oh, you found it. She was like, yeah. I said, girl, you you was working hard to find this computer for me. And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I said, she said, you know, but it's okay. My manager really found it. I said, no, I saw you going through everything. And I'm telling you, thank you so much for, for um, helping me. No problem, right? So when I was looking at her, though, and Holy Spirit was witnessing to me that she was really going through some heavy stuff. And I was just like, yeah, she going through some stuff. And I just looked at her and I said, thank you, honey. God bless you. And she was just like, yeah, you know, I said, you were so helpful. You, you were so good. And she said, oh, you know, it's okay. You know, I, I go through things and, you know, I, it was just one of my good days. And I was like, yeah, she going through something. So next thing you know, we're walking away and we're walking back to the house and I was like, you know, Jarrell, we need to pray for her. So we just praying, praying for her off and on that whole day. Right. So I didn't really see her after that. Remember, that was a month ago. Right. So that was a month ago. So I go there today. Right. And I'm actually trying to talk to my friend and send my friend a voice note. And it was, you know, the service wasn't that good in there. So I see her. I, I was like, oh, and I recognize her. And she was like, hi. It's like, how are you doing? She was like, oh, I'm okay. And I said, thank you again for helping me, you know, with, with the computer. She said, yeah, I remember you. You do the social media stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah. She's like, how's the computer? How's everything going? I said, it's good. It's perfect. I said, thank you so much. She said, I'm glad. I'm glad. I said, I want to let you know that me and my son, we've been praying for you. I said, we talk about you all the time. And it's true. We do talk about her. Like, you know, we'll, we'll be like, oh, remember how she helped us. And, you know, remember how we prayed for her. Don't you know? Don't you know? She said, I don't know what you prayed. You could just tell she carries a lot of pain, a lot of unprocessed grief. And you could just see it on her. She wears it. She said, I don't know what you prayed. I don't know what you said or did. She said, but the last few weeks from when I saw you, she said, things have been so good in my life. And I said, what? She said, yeah. She said, thank you for praying for me. And I said, oh, my heart just welled up. And I said, if you need prayer, if you need anything, let me know. And she said, okay. And I said, God bless you, honey. She said, she said, it's good to know that people think about me. I said, yeah. She said, somebody thought about me. I said, yeah. I said, me and my son talk about you all the time and we pray for you. And she said, thank you so much again. And she walked away. And I, and I just teared up a little bit because I said, oh, my gosh, just that one prayer, us coming back and talking about her. She didn't even know. But look at how God, from you praying and interceding for somebody, you don't even have to know them. And God will work through their life. I'm telling you, you could see somebody struggling, pray for them, even if you don't know them. You see somebody, they got to ask. No matter what a person is struggling, even if they look happy, if the Holy Spirit is calling you to pray for that person, pray for them. Really seek God for things because he will reveal the truth. We will look at somebody and look like they're okay. And they may say at the end of the day, I'm going to take myself out. She said, I don't know what you did, but the last few weeks of my life have been really good. I don't know what that girl went through. I know she did say before that she was taking medication and, and antidepressants and stuff. And I remember like, oh my goodness, what is she going through? But she said, it's good to know somebody's thinking about me. Sometimes we forego the connector, really simple human connection with another person. We think it's not that important. We think that it's small, but I'm telling you, it means something. Just saying hello. I, I, every time I see people, you know, I'm like, good morning or hey, honey. 
hey sweetheart i'm always really jo jovial because i don't know what that person is going through but just her in the store in walmart today running into that few minute conversation and her telling me what prayer did for her life i mean that's life changing and guess what god used us to plant that seed in her so maybe she didn't have a relationship with God, but now in the future, when God preaks her heart, she's going to be open. She's going to be more likely be open to hearing and receiving from God. So I'm just telling you guys, prayer is so powerful. It really, and it changes lives. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't take away anything for you just for a few seconds. Say, Father God, I pray that you cover that person and meet them where they are. They are suffering, Lord. Touch that person's heart. I pray that you break any bondage on them. Give them your perfect peace, Jesus. Save them, Lord. Give them salvation in Jesus' name, Lord. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost us anything to be a decent human being, especially as Christians. We are called to carry up the burdens of other people. Read that in the Bible. It talks about that in Colossians. I think Colossians 1, we have to carry the burdens of other people. And it's not easy to do all the time, but prayer is easy. You don't have to have the perfect words. But if you say, Father God, just please help them. Help that person. That's a prayer. Boom. Straight up to the throne. So I just want to tell you guys that today. Um, so it just, that made my day. That made my day speaking to her and seeing the light in her eyes return from prayer. God is a miracle worker and he's still doing miracles every single day. Don't discount the power of prayer.